So with this uh, demonstration, we're going to talk about parallel paths. And, and really, the, the story behind this is why we don't connect the grounds and neutrals together in a subpanel. Uh, this is always perplexing the inspectors that why can't we? I don't understand the problem. So uh, I'll show you what I've done here. We've got the main wire coming in. And it, in this box, I've joined together, wired it together, four paths. So it's like I've taken one neutral wire and I've made four different ways for that current on the neutral wire to get to each one of these switches. And that's why there's four switches. Uh, I've run two of the wires are number 14 wire. One's a number 12 wire and one's a number 10 wire. Uh, that will give me different amperages on those wires as I do different combinations of tests with the Ampro, which is this guy here. So uh, we've got power coming in, and I've switched the neutrals for this so that I can do different combinations. I can. I can have the two 14s on at the same time or just the number 10 on at the same time. Um, so we'll turn on the, the, this first switch and this is just a normal circuit. I've got one uh, 14 gauge wire and this uh, number 14 gauge here, the black and the white, just a normal circuit. Uh, it lights up this 250 watt light bulb, that's two amps give or take a little bit. It's really a great size bulb to use because two is an easy number to uh, deal with as you'll see. So if I take my amp probe and I'll turn it on, you'll see I have uh, uh, two amps plus a little bit on the hot and you'll see on the neutral I will also have uh, two, two amps, same amount. Uh, so electricity is coming to the source and returning to the source. That's all that this is doing. Uh, so now let's turn on, uh, I'll turn on the other 14 gauge wire. So now I have two paths back to the transformer for that current to flow on. You'll see we still have uh, two amps, <coughs> two amps on the 14 gauge hot side, and look what happens when we pick up one of the 14s. So we have half of it now. <laughs> so half the current's flowing on one of the neutrals, half the current's flowing on the other neutral. <laughs> Parallel paths, two ways back. So now we'll add the number 12 in and uh, we'll look at the current that's on uh, the 14 is now 0 0.68 uh, and this one is 0.62 the 12 uh, is 0.78 so the more of it flows on the number 12 than on the 14 um, now I'll turn on the 10 and we'll see that the biggest percentage of the current is going to flow on the bare ground wire. This is, uh, what is it, what do we got? Eight, 86, 0.86. So watch what happens at, to that 0.86 as I turn off some of the other paths. See how it's, it's going to jump up. jumps up a little bit more? If I get rid of the other 14, it jumps up even more. If I jump up this, it's all going back on the on that bare ground. Hmm. So let's uh, just say it's flowing on the normal circuit, our 14 gauge wire circuit. We'll turn on one, but leave on 10. You can see that one point one and a half amps of that two amps is running on the bare ground wire instead of uh, it's not just the factor that it takes all paths 
the pass with the least resistance takes most of it. So you can clearly see that if I'm in a trench somewhere with the ground wire taken apart, and I hold one end in one hand, the other hand in the other, sayonara in 1.2 microseconds, as they said on Titanic, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Uh, you just um, can't allow that current to flow through your heart, uh, and that's why we don't connect them together in the sub panel. Uh, I think that's any other questions? Okay. That's all I got for you. <laughs>